Hey guys, welcome back to Obsessive Crochet Lady. I'm Amanda. I know, it's been forever. Um, and then some. But, <laughs> and I'm a little late today. I do apologize that this video is going to be late. Um, I have had a long work week. And I was exhausted last night and laying in bed before I fell asleep. I was like, oh, I forgot to do my video. I'll just do it in the morning. So as of recording, it is 7.30 in the morning. It was supposed to drop at 3 o'clock in the morning, like it usually is, but it's been, <laughs> it's been crazy. But anyways, you're not here to hear all about that. So um, just a little preface, I will be batch recording. So you will see me in the background for every single video. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me. Um, I am on my older laptop <clears throat> because my new one broke um, and had to be sent out to be repaired. Anyways, so I hope you guys can hear me. Um, so anyways, you are here because today is the finale of the Three in Glasses cow. Um, so myself... Rebecca from Saracotta Crafts and Sam from Manfa's Makes started a crochet along. We call ourselves the Three in Glasses because we all three wear glasses. It's just a, you know, little thing we came up with. So, um, in the beginning we decided to do a crochet along. We decided to make a shawl. We all picked a shawl pattern and you guys voted. You guys chose the Bella Vita shawl by Wilma Westenberg. Um, I will give you my thoughts uh, about that in a little bit. Um, so then Sam uh, decided that she would um, do the breakdown of the different parts um, of the crochet along. So we all had content, we all had time to do it, um, but if you've been following along, sometimes that didn't work out, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so Sam did that, and then we did it every two weeks, we did a catch up on it, and today is the finale. So if you guys haven't watched those videos, Please go to Sam and Rebecca's channels. I will link them below. Um, please go to their channels and um, go look at their playlist. Uh, it'll be the Three in Glasses Cow. Um, and today should be, I think, the fifth video. So there's some content if you need something to watch. So, mine. Um, Oh, I just had that little ball. It's going to show you guys how much I had left. Okay. Um, if you guys were at the live, you would have seen our shawls so far. This isn't mine. This is a different one. Sorry. <laughs> I'm working, or that I finished. Just looking for. Sorry, I was more organized. Everything just kind of exploded. Because I had to bring all of my stuff in here. Like I said, I'm batch recording, so like this room is a hot mess. Anyways, well, whatever. So I had about a ball this size left. I used... One of these Sultan Deluxe Cakes. 100% cotton, 250 grams, approximately a thousand meters, and then this is a different colorway than I used. Come on, there we go. And focus for a minute. 250 grams, 8.8 .8 ounces, a thousand meters, or a thousand ninety-three yards. Come on, focus for me, baby. Okay. 
It's got the Okatek standards. That's too tiny for it to focus, I guess. Um, it says to use a two and a half to three and a half millimeter US two to four, UK two to 10, that's for knitting, and crochet is 3.5 to four millimeter crochet hook. It's a fine weight number two. You can wash 30 degrees Celsius. Do not bleach, do not iron, do not tumble dry, lay flat. Made in Turkey. Um, like I said, this isn't the color I used, but this is the only ball band I had because I can't find the other ball band. Sorry. I'm like a hot mess. I'm sorry. I really do apologize. It's been crazy around the panda household. And if you're new here, that's what they lovingly call me on the YouTube streets is panda. So it's been crazy here at the Panda Household. Okay, are you ready to see this beautiful shawl? There we go. And it goes down to a light lavender. And goes light blue all the way to this deep dark blue. I'm going to fold it together so you can see that. So this is my Bella Vita shawl. This will be gifted as a hug to someone very special. So you can wear it like this. I need to weave in the end still. <laughs> like I said, it's been crazy. So, and you can see the border. Now, the um, pattern called for 3.25 or 3.75. Um, but to meet gauge, I had to use a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. So in turn, I had to skip a few rows. At the end, I ended up missing four rows. So not too shabby, um, but I wanted to make sure I had enough for the border. Um, and I did, and I still had a ball left, but with the long rows, it wouldn't have uh, done two more because the ending two row, so you have to end on a specific row. So I would have had to do two more rows, and then the setup round for the border, and then the border, and that wasn't enough to do all that. So I had to cut it short, which is fine. It still looks beautiful. Love the colors, how it gradiates. I'll show you again. There we go. Now, on to how I felt about the pattern. Okay. I love the pattern, the way it turns out. Um, I'm going to preface this by saying everybody writes their patterns differently. Everybody reads patterns differently. How I understand patterns is different to how you understand patterns. So please don't take me the wrong way. The end result is gorgeous. Um, but the way the patterns are written are what I call shorthand pattern. It's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. The way I call it is I just call it shorthand. So it's, 
not typed out in any way. It is just very basic. Um, there are pictures in the pattern, but they're just pictures of the middle. It would have been better if on some of the rows she did pictures of the edges of the corners, um, the, the sides here because I had to frog it a couple times due to me not understanding where the placement of things go. Um, like I said, this is, this is just my opinion. There's nothing wrong with the pattern. I'm not saying that at all. There's nothing wrong with it. But <clears throat> it was hard for me to understand the pattern at Will I redo this shawl? Probably not. Will I go to well, Wilma Westenberg? Of course. Um, I just have to understand the way that she writes. Um, another part that I did not like was you would have to do this row through this row and then when you get done to the, down to the next row it is, oh, for the next da 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 rows, you have to go back and do these rows. But on one of these rows, you have to go back up to another row. So it was a constant up, down, up, down, up, down. And with the ads playing, it just kept bumping it and I just kept forgetting where I was. So I always had to count my rows. So it was just a hot mess. <laughs> Like I said, it's nothing against Wilma Westenberg. Please don't take it that way. It's just how I found the shawl pattern. Give me one second. Thirsty. That's just how I found the pattern. Um, some people may not understand my pattern that I created. So, I get it. And everybody writes, like I said, everybody writes a pattern differently. So, um, not knocking the pattern whatsoever, not knocking the designer. She's a great designer. She does more than I could ever do. So, not knocking her whatsoever. But, that's just how I found the pattern. But, if you guys want to see everybody else's shawls, please go to Rebecca's channel, Suricata Crafts. She's done a wonderful slideshow of everybody's beautiful patterns and how they turned out. Um, go visit Sam at Mantha's Makes. She also has a video out today. You guys have probably already watched and said, where's Amanda's video? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Just a little late. But I hope you are all well. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this cow. I appreciate every single one of you that supported. I appreciate every single one of you that joined us. Um, I really appreciate the love and the support. It means the absolute world to all of us um, in this crochet journey. So once again, I do apologize for this video being late. Um, it is just sometimes how life is. Right? Right. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, we all have playlists, so if you guys are new to this, you know, go watch their play playlist as well. And if you don't know them, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't know them, please go subscribe to them. They are two of my bestest friends, and um, they are both lovely women. Anyways, this is 15 minutes of me yapping, <laughs> and um, like I said, I'm recording a bunch of videos. It won't be daily content, but it will be every couple of days. I try and do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but sometimes I just do more, <laughs> so it's all good. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next one. I love you all. Please, please, please don't forget 
one small act of kindness. You really never know what somebody's going through. Even if it's just a simple smile or a simple hello, that may be just what they needed today. I'll see you guys later. Love you loads. Bye.